from NBC News, this is Today. Natalie? All right, Matt, thanks. And now to the latest money-making trend. Just like the days of the Tupperware parties, more companies are now using the direct selling method. And as today's Erica Hill reports, sales are up, proving once again that everything old is new again. It's a Tupperware party, and it's really fun. It's a tried and true concept. Avon calling. That's getting a 21st century makeover. Have you guys tried the rose water mess? Everything from jewelry to beauty and fashion are using direct sales to sell, sell, sell. What can I interest you in today? Even late night host Conan O'Brien got in on it, trying his skills as a Mary Kay sales rep in April. You look gorgeous. In fact, I wouldn't change a thing. I don't think you need any cosmetics. <laughs> Let's go. Joking aside, statistics show sales within the industry have grown over 12% since 2010. And those doing the selling are seeing real financial results, making money from their own personal sales in addition to a percentage from their team sales. Direct sales today has taken on a new life. One, for economic reasons, you know, there are a lot of people looking to make a little extra money. And the second is technology enhances me to be selling to my community of friends. Our products are very unique. I wake up every single day feeling like I am part of something big. Stephanie Olin was the first consultant for Beauty Counter, a company dedicated to getting safe skincare products into consumers' hands. A former RN, this mom of three began doing this part time but has seen such success, she now does it full time putting in 25 to 30 hours a week. When I was working as a nurse, I worked really unpredictable hours. I was never home, and now I'm home for everything. In the 16 months since joining Beauty Counter, Stephanie has seen her monthly income almost quadruple, making as much as 40000 a month. I think it's a unique business opportunity where ordinary people like myself can really do extraordinary things. And according to founder Greg Renfrew, that was the goal. We believe that we've created a platform upon which women and men can be entrepreneurs. It's part of what we uh, set out to do. Since launching in March 2013, Beauty Counter has seen its sales force grow to almost 3,000 independent consultants. We chose to enter into this market because we believe our story is best told person to person. I will meet someone at a coffee shop. My life looks 180 degrees different than it looked two years ago. It's just been a win-win all the way around. For today, Erica Hill, NBC News, New York. The second is to and we should note that the success these women have had may not be the norm. Consumer advocates say before you join any direct sales organizations, do your homework first because there are scams out there. We have posted some great information on our website as well. But great that, I mean, if some women are having such great success, yeah. it's phenomenal. Absolutely. Nice way to pick up a little Absolutely. spare cash. Reminds of the old Tupperware party. Days. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Same formula, same idea. Toys. Yeah. Children's toys. Hmm. Like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Your well, toys? To someone else? Stella and Dodd, the jewelry designer they have the same sort exactly. of concept. It's, it's a great company and it's done very well. Coming up, Jenna Bush Hager and the